This week on Whitetails Inc., sucky trees and annoying gnats. At Whitetails Inc., we do all the work and don't hunt with outfitters or guides on huge pieces of managed property. We're do-it-yourselfers just like you. Some call us crazy, and honestly, we may be a little psycho. We document our hunts on camera, enjoying the outdoors as much as the kill. We have extremely high standards and only compete with ourselves. The only thing that makes us special is our level of dedication. Welcome to Whitetails Inc. This episode of Whitetails Inc. is brought to you by Wicked Tree Gear, Ozonix scent elimination that works, White Knuckle Productions, Vortex Optics, Lone Wolf Tree Stand, Stick and Pick Trail Camera Mounting System, Tenzing Outdoors, Arborware, and Covert Trail Cameras. That was a lot of work, but boy is it going to be worth it. This is a pretty cool spot. I opened it up quite a bit, but I know it's going to happen. Yes, it's starting to rain. I'm going to make this quick, but I know it's going to happen between now and hunting season. It's going to grow back quite a bit. So I got one spot over here I want to hit, but otherwise I'm going to take you for a quick tour. Here's the field edge shot right here. Got a shot right down through, right down through here. Out out here, obviously. Right there, a big shooting lane, big shooting lane. Another big one, hole. This is all major runways all down below here. Another little shot here, hole there, hole there, hole there, shooting lane all the way out. And then another hole right there, and then this whole area behind me here is uh, pretty much no man's land. It's not, I'm not gonna be able to get a shot over there and that's where Kyle's gonna be. So I'll set his stand as we get in here, but I'm gonna get out of here quick, cut a couple more branches down and I'm done. And then I got one left to do yet this year, at least before the start of hunting season. I'm out to set a stand in that tree. The flies are just hellacious, man. They're just little gnats. Drive me crazy. Uh, my goal today is just to get this stand hung. I just don't know. It's a gnarly tree up top here. I don't know where I'm gonna get my stand and then my cameraman's stand, so that's why I figured. It's a long hike in here. I'm already tired. I'll just set the stand today, only get a couple hours of work, and then uh, I'll come back another day to trim it out, because it's going to be a big job. Mission accomplished. I got um, the stand hung. You can see it up there behind me. It actually didn't go up too bad. Um, not as bad as I thought. I have kind of a giant branch above my head, so I have to sit down to shoot. Uh, really my main areas or two of the main trails but it shouldn't be an issue and sitting down up in this tree I should have decent cover so part one's done I have no idea how I'm gonna get a cameraman stand up here um, uh, that always sucks I'm gonna have to do some thinking on that but phew. worst case way up high but um, yeah man this should be a killer spot back out here uh, at the set I trimmed or I uh, set yesterday the flies are so bad that I'm uh, resorting to 
wearing a head net, which I'm going to put on right now because I can't drive me crazy. I can't take it anymore. But anyway, uh, I am out. I got to figure out. There's a main trail right behind the stand, and I got to shoot through this V. I don't know if I can hit the trail, but it's a main trail I got to hit. So I brought an extra stick. I brought my cameraman stand so I can get that set up or try to figure out how I'm going to set that up the day of because unfortunately in my V I think is where the cameraman stand is going to go. So I don't know if I'm going to have to go higher or what. I'm willing to do whatever it takes because this, this is a kill spot. For any of you who film your hunts with a cameraman, you'll know what I'm going through. While filming has quickly become one of my favorite aspects of hunting, it doesn't come without sacrificing your chance for success. I have one of the best cameramen around for most of the season, Kyle Reindeers, but I can't expect him to take good footage from a stand that he feels like he's about to fall out of. Our stuff has to be rigid, safe, and dead quiet. No matter where Whitetail comes from, one or both of us will have to move to get into position. We use Lone Wolf, which is what I've been using for something like 15 years now. I think they're the safest stands around, and our lives are worth it. I'm uh, getting this lane wrapped up here, and I still think people don't really realize how much time and energy that I put into doing this every year. And for a lot of guys, it's excessive, but we're trying to film this, and I um, I just don't want a deer to come through and not get a shot at them. All right, this is one of them awesome moments. Trim is going good, making some progress, but there's a few trees right here. I gotta cut the tops of them off. There's like three or four of them. So the only way I know to do it easily without losing the whole tree is to climb up there. So there's actually quite a few branches to climb up. So I'm gonna try to do that right now. Well, it's coming along. I've done a ton of work, but I still have a bunch to go. What I like about this spot is just everything comes through here. There's an old two track that runs through here. And there's a field edge that's adjacent that we'll have great views of during the season. And um, oh, it's so thick in here, it's gonna be hard to, Hard to do it right, but that's why I'm coming back in here a couple times just to do it. But here's my little quick tour. Got one nice, nice opening down here to shoot through. Right here, right here. Out the back of the stand right here. And then I need to find, I need to drill a hole right through here someplace. And I need to drill a hole. I don't even know, man couple little spots on here I really need a, a shot right through here but it is just so thick I got a lot done I'm freaking it's Saturday I'm done at four today I said so I'm gonna uh, pack my stuff up take a long walk back and actually enjoy the rest of the afternoon thanks for watching Whitetails Inc next week I'm finishing up my early season trimming and starting to think about what bucks are around If you've watched any of the videos or web shows that we've produced in the last six years, you won't see me using anything other than a lone wolf tree stand. There's a reason for this. I can assure you it isn't because they're paying us to use them. Straight up, lone wolf makes the best hang on and climbing tree stands in the business. When it comes to lightweight and silent portability, lone wolf is quite simply in a league of their own. The lone wolf climbing sticks are also the easiest and fastest way to get up a tree. When it comes to the safety of the white knuckle team, we rely on lone wolf tree stands with our lives every day. They aren't cheap, but they will literally last a lifetime. 
I still use my very first Lone Wolf stand that I purchased some 16 years ago, and it's still dead silent. To check out the full line of Lone Wolf products, check out their website at lonewolfhuntingproducts.com.